So you've either got your first bait caster or you've had one for a while and you're really struggling with it. In this video, once and for all, I'm going to show you all the ins and outs on how to master this bait caster and keep that dreaded backlash and bird nest out of your life. It's not that hard. I promise you, you can do it. Stay tuned. This one's going to help you out. Guys, just like everything else, when you first start out, there's a learning curve to everything. But I promise you, your, your nightmares are going to be over with a bait caster. It's not that hard. It's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and dig right into the basics of how to get this thing to cast and set up without getting a dreaded backlash. The first thing that this reel revolves around is this little tension knob. There's a little knob on the left side, normally on the left side. Most bait cashers, most modern day bait cashers are set up the same way. They've got a tension knob on the left side and a centrifugal brake system on the right. A tension knob either puts tension or releases tension on that middle spool. When you go to cast, the weight of that lure dictates how fast that spool will spin. You either tighten up the tension to make it turn less or you free up the spool on like lighter type lures. If you can't get the thing dialed in perfectly, you have another helper system in this centrifugal brake system. Some higher end reels have a lot of little micro settings inside that tension knob. Lower end reels typically don't have a lot of settings, so uh, you may have the tension knob all the way down on a lower end reel and go to cast and still get a backlash. That is where the centrifugal brake system comes into play. Centrifugal brakes means that inside the side of this spool, some reels have 10 brakes, seven brakes, five brakes. There is little magnetic brakes that once this bait caster is engaged and is casting, after a few, after a few seconds or so, those brakes will engage and begin to slow that spool down. So all you have to do is adjust your bait caster, the tension knob, and the brake system. Now on, on my bait casters, I don't have to use any, any brakes because I get that tension knob dialed in pretty well. But you can just add one brake, two brake. It's all about feel, guys. Get out there in your yard or out here in the, out here in the water and just make cast. Now, the biggest thing that I see with people is they have a hard time matching their lure with their reel. Every time you change the lure, you're gonna to have to change the tension knob or the brakes. The weight of that lure will make that spool spin more or less. So I've got this reel, this rod and reel right here set up for my buzz bait. I've adjusted it while the buzz bait is on, on the rod and reel. I make a cast. I had no overrun of line, no, uh, no overspool, no big bird nest. What that means is my, my reel is adjusted good compared to the, the weight of the lure and the diameter of the line. If you don't have your line, if you have too heavy of a line with too light of a lure, you're going to have to overwork your rod and really try to get into that and really try to whip that. It's important to allow the rod to carry the weight of the lure and let the, the let the weight of the lure come off the end of the rod. You're not really trying to you're not trying to really whip this thing. Although once you really get experience with it, you can pull back there and really put some mojo into it. But starting out, what you really want to focus on is not really just just horsing that thing. Be gentle with it. Let your let your rod and your lure weight work together. Now I've got another rod sitting here. Let's go ahead and, and talk about the differences between that rod being set up and the lure that I have on right now. 
This right here is a seven foot medium heavy with 14 pound line on a buzz bait, a 3 8 ounce buzz bait. A lot heavier than what I'm fixing to show you. Now this rod right here is a seven foot medium with 10 pound fluorocarbon line and just a weightless fluke. A lot lighter system than what I just showed you. The medium action rod allows for more flex to, to be flexed with that weight of that lure. And I will have to put more tension on the knob and I may possibly have to use a break or two on this because to get that weight of that lure to actually cast out there, I'm gonna to have to put a little bit of mojo with it. But if I have the bait caster and tension knob and all that set up right, I will not get a bird nest or backlash, even with this smaller line and a, and a uh, weightless fluke. Let's go ahead and see how we have this one set up. It's set up pretty good. I made a cast and di don't have any overrun or a big bird nest. So let's see what happens when I loosen that tension knob just a little bit and let that spool spin faster. The smallest adjustment. I just barely turn that tension knob and put just a little bit of, took a little bit of tension off of that. I'm gonna make the same cast and you look and see what it does to my bait caster. On my line, my spool is turning faster than my weight of my lure is carrying it off of my rod and reel. So therefore, I couldn't get any distance to carry this extra line off and the spool is spinning very fast. So look at all this line that I've got here. Now, when you get a bird nest, here's what you need to do. Leave that thing engaged and simply just pull it out. Pull that line straight out the reel. Don't reel it. Don't try to pull it back, pull it back out. You just pull it straight out and get all that line off that reel. Sometimes it's gonna, it's gonna overlap each other and then you just sit there and you just you pick it out straight up the top over that spool. But you always pull that line straight out. Once you get that line nice and tight like that, put your fingers in front of that and to, to give you an extra guide, guide that back into your reel and you just reel it back up, guys. Now, sometimes you're gonna have a very bad bird nest or backlash. Sometimes that line will, will not be picked out. It just, it gets wrapped up and in knots and it's just part of the game. Sometimes you're gonna have to just cut that line out and cut your losses. But I promise you guys, work, work on each lure with this tension knob and those brake systems. When you're first starting out, it, it's not gonna to hurt to put six or seven brakes open. Learn to cast. As you get better at casting, take a break or two off. Adjust that tension knob. You want that lure to be falling slow with that released up and the, and the weight of that lure at a, 45, at a 45 degree angle, the weight of that lure should drag your line off of your reel. That's all there is to it, guys, is adjusting the tension knob and working with your brake system. And you'll see, as you get more experienced, you won't even need the centrifugal brake system. You'll be out here casting like a king. And you won't have to have no problems like that right there. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. Get out there in your yard, work with your bait caster, get out here in the water and work with your bait caster. If you wanna learn how to make more accurate cast, click on this video right there. Go back in my channel, guys. I got a lot of videos that are really going to help you out. Get out there, guys. Fish simple and simply catch fish.